Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning how to do this super cool sliding photo album animation right in PowerPoint. You've got an animated tab at the bottom to show what picture you're on, and you can even loop the presentation until you press escape to leave the presentation. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do this super cool animation. So as usual, we're going to start off with a blank presentation, a normal presentation, and change the slide layout over here to blank. This means we've got a blank canvas to work with. Now, if you have your own pictures that you want to do the sliding photo album with, you're going to need more than three, and all you can do is just drag them in from a file explorer or something. I don't have my own, so I'm just going to insert uh, any stock images. So let's just load up some stock images and pick maybe five. Um, we'll go one, two, uh, three, four, five. Boom. Let's wait for them to load in. And now we have five pictures that we can work with. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to start off with formatting, well, cropping all of them, and then formatting each one, and then copying the, uh, formatting one of them, and then copying that formatting over to all of the five pictures. So we're going to start off by cropping all of them, and we're going to go picture format, crop, aspect ratio, four to three. So it's going to be a portrait picture like that. And we can just do that quickly for all of them. Aspect ratio, 4 to 3, or 3 to 4 even. Aspect ratio, 3 to 4. Two more to go. And here we go. We have five nicely cropped images. Now, they're all the same size because I've got them nice, but you might want to just size them all up if they're different sized images, if, especially if you brought them from a file explorer, just to make them all like the same height and same width and all of that. But the cropping should help a lot. So we're going to start off by formatting each one of our images. I'm going to start off with this one because this was at the top um, of the selection. So I'm going to click on that, go picture format, and then we're going to add a picture border. So what we're going to do for this picture border is all we're going to do is go picture border, white, picture border, weight, more lines. So by in by pressing this more lines option, we're opening the format picture option here. Alternatively, you can click this um, drop out box, this like arrow outwards. That will do exactly the same thing. We'll just open this one and you just have to go back into fill and line. So when we're in fill and line, we can go into this line section here. You can open it with this and then you're going to change the width to maybe like a 10 point width. It's whatever you feel it looks nice and I can just put it here so that we can see it better. Uh, we're going to keep all of these the same. We like it round uh, and we like it flat. You can always change those cap type and join types um, to whatever suits you. Now we're going to add a shadow to it so that we can actually see the outline because obviously a white outline, you're not going to be able to see that on a, just a white slide. As you can see, look, it just fades into the, the, the slide. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go shadow, which is in the second one along, like this uh, pentagon here, under effects, and we're going to open the shadow box and we're going to choose the middle preset. Now we're going to play around with this preset a bit, but before we do that, you can see now we can actually see the outline even though it is white on a white slide. So if we go back into that by clicking on the picture, back into here, we're going to turn the transparency right down to about 20%. This makes the shadow a lot darker. We can go back in and we're going to change the blur, which is, let me just show you what that does, it just makes the shadow bigger or smaller. We're going to put it about a 30 point blur. And now we have a nicely formatted image. And here's a shortcut. We can do Control Shift C to copy the formatting and then highlight all the other images and then go Control Shift V. So it's like a Control C, Control V thing just for formatting with a shift in there. Now we can highlight all of them, or uh, select all of them, and size them all down. I'm going to hold Control Shift. That will just size each one down into itself there. Okay, so let's first like sort of number our images. So we have image one right here, and we're just going to make that go in the center. Image two, which will go around here. Image three, and you can you you can use like the PowerPoint automatically clipping the images into the right position quite nicely because you can see here it's making sure each of the distances between each of the images are the same uh, which you can see in these red lines there so we can just leave that there um, we can do the next one all the way here and then um, we're going to put the last one 
on the other side because that's going to just fill up our photo album. Now, one thing we need to do is we're going to be using what's called the morph transition. You've probably heard of it by now, um, especially with my other videos, and you can go and see a very cool text animation using this morph effect up in the top right hand corner. But let's start with this first. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically make a group of about nine images. It's actually going to just be the five and then copy another four across so that we can just keep moving this along to make it morph with each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these first four images and we're going to go control shift, which will. Uh, so what, what that does is controlling drag, control dragging something will just copy it like that. Control sh uh, just shift on its own will just keep it in line on one of the axes that you're doing it, either the X or the Y axis. And then in doing it both, you'll just do both of them at the same time. So you'll do control shift, or you go control shift, and then you'll copy it along an axis. And then you again, you can use that red um, r like arrows to clip it perfectly like that. So now what we've done is we've created. Uh, like a line of images and all we need to do now is we're going to group these images we're going to go control a control g and that groups all these images so that means i can just drag it over the slide each time like that uh, over the course of like s five slides um, to make to make that work so let's just go control z to get it back to where it was now there's a bit more formatting we need to do on this slide not too much all we need to do is add the the white like fading out on either side. Let me just show you that again. So in the intro, we had these faded sides over here, and that's just going to be a rectangle with a gradient. Because yes, you can even um, gradient two different transparencies of the same color. And we also need to add this tab down here. That's also optional, but it'll make it look way nicer, especially when we loop the presentation. So we're going to make a box on one side. I'll make it about up to the midpoint between here about about there and then we'll go gradient fill uh, I've got a weird gradient you've probably just got a generic gradient up there but basically I'm just gonna make both the two the two um, colors white uh, and by the way if you've got an extra like pointer here you can just click the X here or just press delete and that'll work and I just put it on either side of it and one of them I'm just gonna turn up the transparency now you can see I've done the wrong side there so there's two ways you can fix this you can either just go rotate flip horizontal or you can go um, you can just pull both of the of the two pointers over each other so I want there to be a bit more of a fade and first of all we're just going to click no line so there's, n there's none of that like like blue line there we're just going to get rid of that um, but as you can see um, in in the normal one that we showed at the beginning we've got a bit more here so that there's even more white at the edge of it so what we're going to do is we're going to just pull this in slightly, so maybe about a, a 10%, so that fades right out to white just before it gets to the end of the slide. So now we can just control shift and pull it all the way to the end until it clips with the side like that. You can also go shape format, align right and align top. And then we're going to rotate flip horizontal to just flip that formatting on it and now we have our nicely formatted slide here. Now the other thing that I said that we needed to do was we needed to make our tab at the bottom. So that's just going to be five lines which are just um, all the same color apart from one of them which is showing which like which tab you're on, which picture you're on. So we're going to just draw the first line, um, I'm going to go like that. Shouldn't be too long, it should just be like ooh, too too much. Uh, just a small line that doesn't fill up too much of the page. We're going to change the width here to 3. And by the way, if this um, format shape tab has gone again, go shape format and just click here again, or go shape outline, wait. And we're just going to make that 3. Now we're going to make the color of this like a light gray, and then the one that it's on is just going to be dark black to show which tab you're on. And this grey is just going to be the darkest white, if that makes sense. So we've got shades of white, shades of black, we're just going to go for the darkest white there. Now we can use the control Y, which is to redo an action. And this can be helpful to repeat an action that you've just done over and over again to make it exactly the same. So if I go control shift again and drag, we're, we're copying over our 
a line and in this position I would say I want a bit of a longer line so we can just control Z that and just make it out a bit and then go control shift again drag again and then now you can hit control Y control Y control Y as many pictures as you've got I've got five so I've got five lines so now we can group that and then go align center so that should be near the bottom of your page as it's like a tab and that's all we need to do I'm going to leave it grey for now because then we can add in the, the black to show which one we're on but we can do that later so now that we've done that we can control copy all of these slides and to make the middle image right in the middle we're just going to drag it over by copying this this group and then dragging it over your powerpoint might get a bit laggy because we've got loads of images loads of high quality images um, and then we can drag that over here and then all the images should line up there and then we can delete the the, the bottom um, group by clicking on the last image which will select the bottom group and then deleting that so now and um, the other thing we need to do is send it to the back so now what we can do is we can morph these two slides so what i mean by that is we just go to the transitions and press morph that's literally all we need to do so you can see if if, you sh if it shows what it's doing it's just sliding it along which looks really really slick and cool and we can turn down the duration of this if you want i'm just going to leave it at two because uh, I, I like it as two um, personally but alternatively you can push it down to one which might look better to make the, sl the slides shift quicker. So if I show you that, it will look a bit like that, which also looks pretty good. So I think I'll leave it as that. So we can control C, control V, this slide, and then we'll do exactly the same thing. Control C, control V to copy the group, shift the group along by one image, zoom out using control scroll, click on the last image, if my PowerPoint wants to load, yeah, click on the last image, delete that, and send the group to back. Let's run you through that again. We're going to go Control C, Control V. And by the way, the transition has copied over, so if you've done the transition already for slide two, you won't need to do it again. We're going to go Control C, Control V to copy the group, slide the group along by one image, click on the last image, and send this group to the back only two more times and I say two um, and that will become clear later but we're going to control C control V the group and then we're going to move that to the end click on the last image to select the back group delete that and send this group to back we're going to do that one more time and the reason why we're going to do it one more time is because we want to be able to loop the image uh, loop the presentation sorry so if we have the exact same slide as the beginning, it's not going to morph correctly. And this is why we copied over four slides all the way to the end. So now what we can do is we can go do exactly the same thing. Slide along by one image. Select the last image to delete the back group and send this group to the back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into slideshow here. And one thing you should note is on the first slide you should have no transition it should be none and the duration should really be zero uh, it doesn't really matter though um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go slideshow we're going to go set up slideshow and we're going to go click under show options loop continuously until escape and this will um, mean we keep going back to the first slide once we get to the end and click next so that we can keep going through the photos if we want to do that so we're going to click OK and then the last thing we need to do before changing the tab colors is we need to change the last transition on slide six under advanced slide. So that's moving to the next slide. Instead of doing on mouse click, which is what we'd normally do to move slides, we're going to go after zero, zero. So that means it will automatically go straight to the beginning. No transition. It'll just pop back to the beginning. And the reason why we won't see that is because from the slides perspective, it looks exactly the same. The two slides look exactly the same. So we're almost done. All we need to do is change the tab colors. We're going to go shape format, just click into the group and then click on the first one. Go shape outline, black. Next one, click on the second one, black. Third one, click on the third one, black. Fourth one, 
same thing. Fifth one, same thing again. And finally, we're gonna go back to one and click on one to make exactly the same slide as the, as the first one. And now we have our final sliding photo album. Of course, you can do this with only three slides, uh, three pictures if you want to. And you can do it with even like six, seven, even eight pictures. You can do as many as you want as long as it's above three. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you can also look at this super cool carousel animation um, and click on this to learn how to do a carousel animation, which looks pretty similar to this, but it might also be something that you like. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful and you liked it. And subscribe down below. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.